Hello and welcome to Miller Games. Today we are going to be playing episode 5 of Enter the Gungeon. Uh, we've now played as the Marine, Pilot, and Convict, all of which we died with on the second floor, which is unfortunate. So today we will be playing as the Hunter. Um, we're just going to check quickly what her items do in our ammo nomicon. So we have the Rusty Sidearm. Still works, mostly. Uh, Semi-automatic, infinite ammo, does not reveal secret walls. Uh, I guess, do other guns reveal secret walls? We'll have to test that out. I'm not sure. Uh, the rusty sidearm was brought to the gungeon by the hunter. Despite its extremely dated design and some signs of rust, the gun appears relatively new. Very strange. And the crossbow, the original semi-automatic. One of the earliest examples of trigger-fired projectiles. Um, now we have used the bomb crossbow, or explosive crossbow maybe, in one of our previous runs. It seemed pretty good. You could basically shoot an enemy and then reload your crossbow to actually make it explode. Um, I don't know how this is going to measure up. Uh, dog. Okay, uh, Junior 2. Passive. A faithful companion. Finds items on room clear. Oh, that could be super useful. Um, we've had very few Q or uh, key drops as well as heart and armor, so that could be quite the asset. Uh, keeps the hunter company, he has a good nose for treasure, but all attempts to train him in combat have failed. That's too bad, so I guess he won't actually help us fight, but we will get new or more item drops, and he looks adorable. He doesn't really look like a, like a corgi anymore. The animations kind of change when he's looking sideways. Let's try to go down. <laughs> what? That is the silliest running anim uh, animation. So, let's jump right on in. Um, so far we've been having pretty good luck on first floors. We've even, last, last round we cleared the entire first floor without taking damage. Which I think is why we got the Master of the Floor achievement. Oh, I'm just gonna quickly turn the music down a tiny bit. Audio. Sorry about that. Pickle up? I'm probably just crazy. Let's jump right in. So we have our rusty sidearm. Okay, it has a clip of six. That's not that bad. And the aim seems actually pretty decent. Compared to the pilot's gun, I think I prefer this. Oh, getting a little close to that bullet guy. Uh, yeah, let's, let's test out the crossbow though. I want to see how it compares to our explosive crossbow we had earlier. Oh, okay, so it only has one shot. Good to know. I think the explosive crossbow had five or six shots. Oh, that's a bat grenade. What? <laughs> he didn't even try to go for me. I mean, I guess he doesn't have eyes, but... Huh. Poor guy. Whoa, okay. What? Oh, no! Man, that is how I take more damage than anything else in this game, I think. Is, uh... Well, other than saying I'm not going to take damage, then taking damage immediately rolling through a projectile and like that and immediately jumping into another projectile. This crossbow seems to be good on weaker enemies but not so much on the harder enemies like that guy. He might just be super tanky. Oh, it's kind of nice how the arrow points you to any enemies that are left in the room. Uh, so let's keep going. Those, that big sword guy hit us twice. So that sucks. There goes me talking about how we've been doing well on the first floors, but... Oh well, now we know. Um, we have to be really careful with them, uh, with that second uh, kind of wave of projectiles they send. I think that'll just take some getting used to, though. <laughs> the squeaky noise they make when they die is just adorable and sad at the same time. What? Missed twice? Um, so I, I do like the crossbow for weaker enemies, for sure, if I can hit. Oh, I was aiming for the gun guy, but okay. Uh, this feels like a bullet flipping situation. Jeez. Okay, you know what? This is not working out. I think we need to have better spread here. Otherwise, we're never going to kill these guys. What? Oh, I didn't notice that slime guy was so close to me. Get away, bud. Um, with a lot of enemies in the room like that, the crossbow just does not kill them fast enough. Fortunately, let's move on. Flip. Oh, 
Oh man, I thought he got him. Snipe! So the crossbow does take a while to reload. Uh, it would be nice if we could pick up the oiled cylinder like we did in the last run to increase our reload speed. Um, that would make the crossbow probably pretty powerful. Um, especially because we have... Oh, I was just going to say we have infinite ammo, but we actually don't. So this is a gun that you start with, but you do not have infinite ammo on. Good to know. I thought that all starting guns uh, were unlimited. But Ghost's teleport kind of blended in before that. Caught me off guard. Sneaky bugger. So far, our uh, little dog companion hasn't dropped anything. So, thanks for nothing, bud. Unless I'm just missing it and was a complete dick to him right there. I'm gonna go ahead with the he's dropped nothing though. <laughs> just spawn in and instantly get shot. Oh, okay, so we have a heart piece. Actually, we'll grab that right away. Oh. Am I crazy or does this look like a secret room? Maybe there's a room on the other side there. Oh, for a second I thought this was a shot because of the walls. There's just the one guy? Aww. He was just in here studying by himself. We just came in and shot him. Poor guy. Oh, crazy bird guy. Shoot! Oh, crazy missile too. Okay. Yeah, this crossbow is just not fast enough. What? Oh, those little suicide bat things. Okay, so other than those uh, first two hits we took... What? Open it, open it. Grenade launcher. That had a uh, fuse attached to it. Grenade launcher. I guess maybe if you don't have a key, you're kind of screwed because the chest will blow up. Fwomp. Like, I mean, you won't be able to come back. Let's see. Fwomp. Semi-automatic. Really? For a grenade launcher? Fires grenades that can bounce. That seems dangerous. Uh, a difficult weapon to use effectively, but powerful in the right hand. The distinctive noise this gun makes is beloved by pinheads. Oh, oh geez! Cool. Whoa, we only have 25 ammo. So we're going to want to be careful with that. I wonder if it explodes on contact with an enemy. I think that is going to be what we test out here. Are there enemies in here? No? Huh. Thought there might be something up at the fireplace, because there doesn't seem to be anything else in this room, but I guess I'm crazy. This is a dead end. So let's jump on over to... Oh, that looks like a shop right there, so actually we're going to want to check that out. We only have $16, which is extremely unfortunate, but nonetheless it might be good to see what he has to decide if we want to come back later. And I think the answer might be no. This is the Snowballer? Yeah, that was a kind of fun gun. Oh, you know what? He has a key. And health. So I changed my mind. We will definitely want to come back. I still have no idea what this guy does. Did you bring something? No, what do you want, bud? I can pay. Pay for what? Maybe if we keep talking to him. Please just bring me this. Okay. I want to give you these. Yes. <laughs> I have some... I have so many shell casings, why don't you want them? You're talking to me so much. Are we friends? We can be friends, bud. Did you bring something? Oh, it's just gonna be... I can pay you. Please bring me things. Oh. Well, we can definitely be friends. I don't know what you want, though. Because I don't think I can drop anything. I don't think there's a uh, kind of drop option. Well. We'll maybe figure that out later. I know that there are apparently a ton of secrets in this game that we have yet to experience, so I guess we'll see what happens. Poor guy. It's so sad that the bodies just kind of stay on the floor. Oh, okay, boss room. Awesome. Let's go check out this last kind of corner here, though. We haven't seen any secret rooms yet. I've been kind of trying to peek at the walls, but maybe you do have to shoot the walls. Except our starting gun doesn't seem to be able to open them. What? Um. Dark energy permeates the shrine. Okay, bad choice. Let's hope we get something out of this. Oh, wait, so the grenade launcher does explode on contact. I'm going to want to save it for the boss, though. I think would be a good idea. Um, okay, we have a lot of enemies coming in. A lot of these kind of circle explosions. Oh my gosh. No! Ah. 
Was that the grenade launcher? No, I don't want to use that yet. You know what, let's go crossbow and try to just snipe these guys off one by one. Might be the way to do it. I don't know how long this room is going to be, though. It's like ten waves. We're going to be out of crossbow ammo in... Oh, shoot! The slime got me. In just no time. Is that the end? Nope. Oh, jeez. We might be screwed here, guys. I have no idea how to deal with kind of the... Oh, shoot! We take contact damage. Uh, I think this might be our shortest into the gungeon run yet, unfortunately. Unless we can manage to take these guys out in the next couple seconds here. We're kind of grasping at uh, nothing. I think we want to target them. You know what? we got to get rid of this wizard. For that exact reason. I can't believe we survived. Oh wait, one more. Please just let this be the end, and then we can get health. Oh wait, we got a chest. A gun. Sweet, we lived. The hammer. Many bullets. I see that. Look at that clip size. Ammonomicon. Uh, the hammer. Originally crafted by a gunsmith who favored revolvers, but was envious of the automatic weaponry being developed by his peers, and saving a ton of bullets. It seems like he accidentally left one of his tools in the clip. Huh? Oh, so it seems like our last shot might have some kind of extra ability to it. Maybe we'll share the hammer. But, oh jeez, get rid of these right away. Oh, I, I was going to say, it'd be a pain to go through all... <laughs> we just took him out! Did you guys see that? The hammer fires just, like, destroyed that guy. That is awesome and also kind of sad at the same time. Another gun? No, actually, we kind of... Oh, we don't have a key. We kind of want a passive ability, actually, but... Oh, I want the key from the shop, but we really need the health. That's not a shot. Um, shoot. Unfortunately, I think we're going to have to go for the health. We can get a full heart. That is completely worth it. Um, because we'd probably die if we went for the key instead. Although, who knows? That could have been a really good gun. And we'll just go in, into our boss fight. And we are going to be fighting the Gatling Gull today. We have fought this guy, I think, three times. He's not too difficult, I think. Although, now that I've said that, we basically doomed ourselves to getting hit three times immediately and dying. <laughs> that, that is so ridiculous. Rapid fire, predator, or raptor, the Gatling Gull. So let's go ahead and flip that and switch weapons right away. We're going to try and just grenade. Uh, what? What? You can't just deflect our grenade. That's not how this works. Oh, jeez. We took damage there. I thought we could... Wow. Okay. Um. No! Oh! <laughs> well, this has been our quickest death yet. Uh, dying on the first floor to the Gatling Gull. That sucks. And actually, I really enjoyed playing as the Hunter. I just made a couple of bad mistakes. Uh, that first armored guy d did two damage to us, and then I kind of uh, screwed myself over saying I was going to destroy this guy and then took three damage immediately. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Um, please like and comment your thoughts, as well as if you would like to follow me on Twitter, I have my Twitter just posted down in the description of the video. So thank you very much, and I will see you guys next time.